Welcome back, crime enthusiasts. In today's episode, we're diving deep into the riveting history of one of the most notorious mafia families in America, the Bonanno Mafia family. From their humble beginnings as Italian immigrants to their rise as a powerful criminal organization, the Bonanos have left an indelible mark on the American criminal underworld. Get ready for an intriguing journey into the dark underbelly of organized crime. The roots of the Bonanno Mafia family can be traced back to the early 1900s when waves of Italian immigrants settled in New York City, particularly in the borough of Brooklyn. These immigrants faced challenges and discrimination in their new country, which led some of them to turn to criminal activities as a means of survival and upward mobility. Salvatore Bonanno, an Italian immigrant from Castellamare del Golfo, Sicily, played a crucial role in the formation of the family. In the 1920s, Salvatore became involved in various illegal operations, including bootlegging during the Prohibition era. He quickly established a network of criminal associates and gained a reputation for his shrewdness and ability to navigate the underworld. Under the leadership of Salvatore Bonanno, the family began to solidify its power and expand its criminal activities. The Bonanno family primarily focused on traditional mafia operations, such as gambling, loan sharking, and labor racketeering. Their influence extended beyond the borders of New York City, reaching other major cities such as Chicago and Montreal. The family's rise to power coincided with the establishment of the Commission, a governing body composed of leaders from various Mafia families. This allowed the Bonanos to forge alliances and collaborate with other criminal organizations, further strengthening their influence in the underworld. Joseph Bonanno, Salvatore's son, assumed leadership of the family in the 1930s. Joseph's leadership marked a turning point for the Bonanno Mafia family, as he sought to establish a more structured and disciplined organization. His charismatic personality and strategic mindset enabled the family to thrive and expand their criminal empire. However, Joseph's leadership was not without controversy. In the 1960s, a power struggle within the family led to a violent internal conflict known as the Bonanno War. This conflict resulted in Joseph Bonanno's retirement from active leadership, although he continued to exert influence behind the scenes. Following Joseph's retirement, a series of successors took charge of the family including Paul Schacca, Philip Ristelli, and Joseph Messino. Each leader faced their own challenges, including increased scrutiny from law enforcement and internal rivalries, but the family managed to adapt and maintain their criminal operations. The Bonanno Mafia family, known for its ability to adapt and evolve, expanded its influence in organized crime during the mid-20th century. They forged alliances with other criminal organizations, such as the Gambino and Genovese families, to collectively control various illegal activities. The Bonanno family engaged in a wide range of illegal activities, which helped them amass immense wealth and power. They dominated the illegal gambling scene, controlling lucrative operations such as bookmaking and casinos. Additionally, they profited from labor racketeering, infiltrating labor unions, and exerting control over construction and transportation industries. One of the most notorious criminal enterprises associated with the Bonanno family was drug trafficking. They played a significant role in the international narcotics trade, importing and distributing vast quantities of illicit drugs, particularly heroin. The family's involvement in drug trafficking wrought enormous profits but also attracted intense law enforcement scrutiny. Other notable rackets included extortion, loan sharking, and hijacking. Extortion became a lucrative source of income for the Bonanno family, as they targeted businesses and individuals for protection money. Loan sharking allowed them to exploit those in desperate need of financial assistance, profiting from exorbitant interest rates. Hijacking operations involved stealing valuable goods, such as cigarettes and alcohol, and reselling them on the black market. Throughout its history, the Bonanno Mafia family produced several infamous members who were involved in high-profile crimes. One such member was Joseph Bonanno's son, Salvatore Bill Bonanno, who was involved in the infamous Montreal Mafia War of the 1970s. This conflict between the Bonanno and Calabrian factions in Montreal resulted in a wave of violence and attracted international attention. Another notorious figure associated with the Bonanno family was Carmen Gallant, who rose through the ranks to become underboss. Gallant was known for his ruthless nature and involvement in the drug trade. His assassination in 1979, allegedly orchestrated by rival factions within the family, further highlighted the internal strife and power struggles that plagued the Bonanno family. 
as the Bonanno Mafia family continued to engage in criminal activities, law enforcement agencies intensified their efforts to dismantle the organization. Task forces and specialized units were formed to target the family's leadership and disrupt their operations. These operations involved extensive surveillance, wiretapping, and undercover work to gather evidence and build cases against key members. The Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI, played a central role in investigating and prosecuting the Bonanno family. Their efforts, along with those of other law enforcement agencies, led to the arrest and conviction of numerous family members and associates. One of the significant challenges the Bonanno family faced was the presence of informants and turncoats within their ranks. Several members, motivated by self-preservation or desire to cooperate with law enforcement, chose to betray their criminal associates and provide crucial information to authorities. These turncoats played a pivotal role in dismantling the family's operations and bringing key figures to justice. One of the most notable turncoats was Joseph Messino, who held the position of boss within the Bonanno family. In a groundbreaking move, Messino became the first boss of one of the five families to cooperate with law enforcement providing critical testimony and evidence against his former associates. Internal power struggles and factional conflicts have long plagued the Bonanno family. These struggles often revolved around disputes over leadership, control of territories, and disagreements regarding the family's criminal activities. These conflicts not only weakened the organization but also drew unwanted attention from law enforcement agencies. The Banana War of the 1960s, mentioned earlier, exemplified the internal turmoil faced by the family. The conflict erupted between different factions vying for control, resulting in violence and instability within the organization. Internal power struggles continued to shape the trajectory of the Bonanno family in subsequent years. Notable convictions included those of Joseph Messino, who was sentenced to life imprisonment, and other high-ranking members such as Vincent Bastiano and John Jackie Nosdamico, these convictions dealt significant blows to the family's leadership and operational capabilities. The Bonanno Mafia family experienced a decline in power and influence in the late 20th century and early 21st century. The combined efforts of law enforcement, internal conflicts, and the loss of key leadership figures eroded the family's capabilities. Their criminal enterprises faced disruption, and the once dominant family struggled to maintain control over their territories and illicit operations. Law enforcement's persistent efforts to dismantle organized crime networks, including the Bonanno family, led to a loss of influence and significant setbacks for the organization. Asset seizures, convictions, and witness cooperation further weakened the family's infrastructure and ability to conduct criminal activities. The current status of the Bonanno Mafia family is characterized by a diminished presence and a fragmented organization. While they have not completely disappeared, their influence and power have significantly waned compared to their heyday. They continue to operate in limited capacities, but their ability to dominate the criminal underworld, as they once did, remains uncertain. The Bonanno Mafia family's legacy is one of notoriety, power, and the challenges they face throughout their history. From their origins as a fledgling criminal organization to their rise as one of the most influential Mafia families in America, the Bonanos left an indelible mark on the criminal underworld. Their involvement in a wide range of illegal activities, including drug trafficking, gambling, and extortion, brought them immense wealth and influence. However, relentless law enforcement efforts, internal conflicts, and the loss of key figures contributed to their decline. While the Bonanno family continues to be a subject of interest and fascination, their ability to reclaim their former status remains uncertain. Their legacy serves as a reminder of the enduring struggle between organized crime and law enforcement shedding light on the challenges faced by both sides in the ongoing battle against criminal syndicates. Thank you for joining our journey today. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Until next time, and stay safe.